Well, hello. Hi, everyone. Let's see if this is working, because I have not tried to do a solo stream in a very long time. So if I am like a little bit deer in the headlights during all of this, I sort of apologize. But I know some of you out there love that kind of ramshackle streaming. And that is what I have for you today. Uh, Vinny is not here today. He is returning from a family vacation. Uh, so instead, you've got my ass here. Hi, how's it going? Um, I don't have anything particularly uh, exciting for you. Just some games that I've been playing and some things that maybe you would uh, be into. Uh, let me check, make sure the audio sync is good. I'm not sure there's much I can do about that from here because I don't know how audio sync actually works for this. I'm doing my best. Uh, if it's a, a manageable level of out of sync, I hope that's okay. Um, so what I was thinking to kick things off uh, is that I've been playing that uh, WWE 2K24, which is out now. Um, but I don't do quick looks anymore. Like, that's not really what my job is anymore. And so I figured a full stream of me just taking you through all the features, uh, is less interesting, maybe, uh, you know, than I maybe, you know, than I would have initially thought when I was doing it. Anyway, never mind. I'm nervous. I don't know if that's coming through or not. It's okay. Um, but instead, what if I just downloaded a bunch of dumb guys and then put them in a Royal Rumble? And then we just watched it. Wouldn't that be fun? Because I do that a lot. That's the thing. One of the nerdiest things about me is that I simulate a lot of wrestling video games because I'm a <sighs> because I'm a deeply embarrassing individual. Um, so I downloaded a bunch of guys. Some of them are regular uh, wrestling guys. Some of them are dumb pop culture characters. I just thought, you know, that's a fun dumb thing to do. So why don't I uh, get that match started? And why don't I take it over here? To this screen. I've also tried to turn off as much of the licensed music in the menus for this. We'll see how it goes. And this is where you get to tell me how the audio mix is. Also, I'm going to turn my camera slightly. Now, the two superstars that drew number one. There we go. That centers things a little better. And you, uh, you tell me how this mix is. This will continue. And we'll see how it goes. All thirty superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when you are. Game audio a little high. Very easy to fix. Let's do it. The last superstar Let's see how that goes. Will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will go on to face the I can even give you a little bit more if you want of me. If you want more of me. Royal Rumble. I'm sad they don't let you do the 40 man rumbles anymore, but it is what it is. Uh people want a little bit more of me. Okay, I think I can make that happen. It's hard to do without just writing my gain up, which is not great. And I do have the volume maxed out for here. Ah, yes. I did start this out with He-Man, didn't I? See how this goes. I haven't tried doing a big dumb Sim Royal Rumble yet, so this will be fun. Maybe when we're done here, we'll go and see how the uh, the image uploader is for community creations, because that's always a fun time. It's always a really interesting blend of uh, people's extremely blurry faces, uh, which they are trying to map onto characters, uh, you know, various political logos, and then also uh, random feet pics, because that's... We're on the internet, aren't we? Yeah. It's pretty good, He-Man. Not bad. Got the haircut right, at least. There are some actual wrestlers in here. I, uh, you know, I just figured a good mix of dumb guys would be fun, so. I know Pat Bayer does this on the regular. He simulates matches in these games all the time and then does commentary over them. Uh, I don't know if I have play-by-play -play commentary in my bones, but let's see, let's see if we can do this today, especially by myself. I think I'm a good color commentator. I don't know if I'm a good play-by-play -play guy. All right, I love this guy. And of course, we have his nemesis. Introducing the individual who drew number two from out of this world. 
Yep. Toe to tip. That's a Skeletor. It's a shame you can't have the voice in there, but what can you do? I feel like one of these days they're just going to put, like, AI voice stuff in there, and they're going to make it so you can just generate a Skeletor voice. That is, like, maybe the only use of this technology I approve of. I feel like it's less problematic if you limit the lines that can be generated so that you can't make you know, people say the worst shit imaginable in here. You just keep it to, you know, five or six phrases that are very wrestling friendly, and that's it. All right, I have no recollection of who else I put in this, so let's see how it goes. I just turned the difficulty level all the way up. We're going to have ourselves a Royal Rumble. And Skeletor right out of the gate here, going to town on He-Man. It's very shiny Skeletor. They really latexed his outfit a fair amount, I feel like. Uh, Orgon Energy Crisis. They look so plasticky, which is appropriate. That's funny you mention that because there are literal action figure versions of a few of the wrestlers in this year's game, like John Cena and Cody Rhodes. Ah, uh, Jushin Liger, we have our first real wrestler here, one of my favorites of all time. I'm gonna say that's an okay Jushin Liger. Masks in this game are generally not great, I have found. That is one thing that they've never found a way to do well. They always look really bulky. Which is unfortunate, because Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 solved that problem a long time ago. Still somehow the, uh, the best mask editor in any video game. Uh, Nicolonia? Nia? I, I, I may have said that wrong. How do you actually play this game? Uh, I mean, I do play it mostly just to kind of run through, like, their, uh, story modes and, you know, kind of, uh, those modes, but, like, by and large, I simulate a lot of matches for fun because that's just kind of the way my dumb wrestling brain works is that I think it's fun to watch the computer do stuff. That's an Elmo. I tried to see if there was a Larry David in there. So far, there is not. Someone needs to get cracking on that. Is Elmo dead? I mean, if Larry David was here, Elmo would definitely be dead. Okay, that's an okay Snorlax. I mean, it's... It looks like the kind of Snorlax you would see uh, hawking photos in Times Square, but it is a, an acceptable Snorlax, I will say. Yeah, this is already very stupid. I'm glad I did this. Because, <laughs> like, look, there's plenty of people out there. If you want to go see what the story mode is like this year, you can go do that. If you want to go see what their 40 years of WrestleMania mode is like, you can do that, but also maybe don't. It's kind of lame, other than for the sake of unlocking stuff. Sting is here. The most recent version of Sting I could find. Um, yeah, the 40 years of WrestleMania mode is not great uh, in the way that all these are all right. usually not great, but it's especially bad because they have to blur so many faces in the mode this year. They really did not spend any money getting any likeness stuff sorted unless they absolutely had to. Sting came back from retirement just to fight Snorlax. Love it. Alright, we have a Sub-Zero here. Mm, I'm gonna say that's like a PS2 era Sub-Zero. A lot of extra bullshit on him beyond the, co the core costume, but pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Caserno in the chat saying they were trying to play a game with Hide the Vince. It's not just Vince. It is so many people. It is Ric Flair. It is a bunch of refs from older WrestleManias and other wrestlers that they did not want to get the rest rights for because they weren't part of the core storylines. They were presenting. This is Spider-Man 2099. That was the best Spider-Man I could find. It's a pretty good suit, though. I mean, it's a very shiny Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2999 is having a bit of a moment. He was in uh, that most recent Spider-Verse movie. He's a small factor kind of in the background of that Spider-Man 2 game in one of the side quest things. Uh, Tang in our Discord chat asking, doesn't WWE own the likeness rights? Why do they need to blur the faces? So in some cases they'll do it because it's Vince McMahon and uh, that whole thing is going on. 
in other cases, they would probably still have to pay some kind of like appearance fee if they put them the like the 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 historical footage of them in the game. And I'm guessing that at a certain point, that appearance fee budget runs out. And you're saying to yourself, well, do I need to get George the Animal Steel, or do I need to get the ref from the fucking uh, Macho Man Ricky Steamboat fight? The answer is George the Animal Steel, probably. Mupod in the chat. As someone who was obsessed with Marvel 2099 as a kid, and it's pretty nuts seeing that, uh, it suddenly come back, even if it is just that one character. Yeah, I had a bunch of the uh, the original uh, 2099 runs. I had the Punisher, a bunch of the early Punisher issues. Uh, I'm going to turn the game down audio, audio just slightly. See how that is. Um, I had a bunch of that 2099 stuff. I don't remember liking any of it that much, but I read a bunch of it because I was just buying comics and mass at that point. All right, so I think we have... Yes, we have the max number of people that can currently be in the ring. So until someone gets eliminated, we will not be seeing more guys. Oh, we got a double team on Snorlax. Are they going to get Snorlax? Now Snorlax is our first elimination. That does make a certain amount of thematical sense, I feel like. All right, so let's see who we get. X-Men 2099 was very 90s edgy, says Dirty Rectangles. Yeah, that is my prevailing memory of, like, all that 2099 stuff, is that it was extremely 90s edgy. That Punisher one, too. This is a real motley crew we've got going on here. So far, everyone's kind of faring pretty well here. I feel like Sting is the only one that hasn't really taken any damage at all. Which is, you know, Sting. It's Sting. Sting wins. Sting doesn't, uh, Sting doesn't go out on his back, you know? I really enjoyed the end stage Sting run. I thought it was pretty great as retirement runs for wrestlers go. Like, it helps that he can still go and that his body was not completely destroyed. But they were really smart about booking him. I think putting him in a tag team primarily helped hide some of his age-related weaknesses. It was just a great fucking run. Earthquake is here. That's not a bad earthquake. I don't know if they quite got John Tenta's face exactly right, but it feels right enough. I loved Earthquake. Earthquake's one of my favorite big men of all time. Super underrated. His Japan stuff is great if you've never seen it. And there goes Sub-Zero. Sad we didn't get his uh, nemesis in here while he was still in the ring, but that's the random. Yeah, it's like 80% of the way to John Tenta. Pretty good. All right, so Elmo is gone as well. So we got a couple more people coming in here. So far, He-Man and Skeletor, this might be in the first two in, doing all right. Liger also kind of holding on there for being number three. Body checking them into a whole other area code. Liger, another one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Not my number one masked guy, that's still Hayabusa, but Liger in terms of like overall breadth of career, kind of hard to argue with anything that guy has done. What do we got? Ah, Naruto. I'm just going to assume he Naruto ran down to the ring, and we just didn't see it. Yep. Throwing Scorpion Death Drops all over the damn place. Oh, here we go. Choke slam from Castle Grayskull. Ah, yes, here we go. Our first big, big man here. The one and only Jason Voorhees. It's an all right Jason Voorhees. I think that gets gets you most of the way there. I mean, they put a hockey mask in the game. It's not that hard. Right to the kidneys from behind. 
Uh, Nicolonia asking, what is my Mount Rushmore of wrestlers? Oh, God, that is really hard. Uh, I put Hayabusa on there just because he's my favorite mass wrestler of all time. Uh, Kenta Kobashi is my actual favorite wrestler of all time. Uh, and in, in order to not just do the four pillars of all Japan, I'll just, just go with him. Uh, I think you have to put Sting on there just in terms of like sheer breadth of career and quality of career. Uh, and I definitely put Terry Funk on there just because Terry Funk, uh, nobody has ever done it like Terry Funk and no one will ever do it like Terry Funk again. Yeah, he man, that's not that impressive. That guy's like, Liger's not that big. He's like, he's like 5'10. It's not that big. He's like 200 pounds. Like, you can, you're a he man. You can lift more than that. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Yes, this is a very Fortnite Battle Royale. You're not wrong. Oh, uh, we lost Earthquake. That's a shame. And we lost Sting. Holy shit, I didn't even see Sting went out there. Damn. I thought Sting was going to go all the way. But no. It's fine. It's a 30-man endurance Battle Royale. A lot of things can happen in this match. Wow, he just threw Naruto onto Jushin Liger. That is extremely disrespectful. So retrous. It's wild how WWE almost managed to destroy Sting's legacy, mostly out of spite. Yeah, look. There aren't a lot of blemish runs in Sting career, Sting's career. I'm even going to give him a pass on most of that TNA run, the Joker stuff included. But yeah, that WWE run was a real sad time, really sorry state of affairs. But let me be clear, I don't watch WWE, like, at all. And to be real, I don't watch that much AEW anymore either. I'm not watching a lot of wrestling at all. I mostly just play the video games and kind of absorb what's going on through osmosis. Though I will turn on AEW when there's a match I think is interesting. And there has been a little bit more of that lately because I've been enjoying a lot of the Lucha dudes just showing up in AEW for a match or two. Like seeing Hechicero on there was a real trip, I gotta say. We got Scorpion in here. Ah, the body. One of the few regular wrestlers I put in here. Jesse Ventura, former Minnesota governor, conspiracy theorist. But mostly the like non problematic conspiracies. Is there a Goku in here? Yeah, there is. So I'm going to say the Goku options were actually sorely lacking. Uh, so I'm not sure people are going to love it. Scorpion is out. Mortal Kombat representation here is now over. Does Jesse still have a podcast? I assume so. Usually you don't stop doing those unless they stop paying you. If you're a celebrity. And Jesse Ventura. That's a celebrity. Uh, he may be running afoul of Jason Voorhees, though. Yep, all right. Jesse is already out. Jesse, I'm sorry. It was a conspiracy against you, my friend. Jason Voorhees does not vote the Reform Party. And Naruto's out. Who do we got next? Ah, the Rainmaker. Kazuchika Okada. This was the best looking one of these I could find. I find a lot of people when they make the Okada in games, uh, they have a bad habit of making him look less Asian. Uh, this was the most straight up, like, this just looks like Okada dude that I could find. I think that's a pretty good Okada. Oh, man. Okada's going to town. Kid Buu! This was like the best looking Dragon Ball character I could find. I do not, again, I do not know a lot about Dragon Ball. But I know some of the names, at least. Yes, this is full AI. Uh, Distor Space. Cheer from the WWE universe is reverberating around us. 
Yeah, we lost a bunch of people here. Skeletor still in it, but He-Man is gone. Liger's looking like he's uh, barely hanging on here. Ah, one of my favorite masked dudes of all time, especially of the current crop of dudes. This is a pretty good Penta, I felt like. Again, masks are very hard to do. You have to do a lot of texture work. There goes Jason. But I feel like they got the mask right on this one. Fucking love Penta. Penta and Phoenix, uh, still maybe my favorite of all AEW performers. Ah, and here comes Trevor from GTA 5. Again, I just kind of went through, like, the most upvoted guys and just picked what I could see. That's a pretty good Trevor. That's all right. That's not bad. I think Trevor has Cerro Miedo. <laughs> Skeletor right now. Skeletor and Liger are our longest hanging on guys. Well, Kid Boo is doing some work here on Liger. Who do we got next? Samoa Joe, of course. Yeah, it's not a bad Samoa Joe. It's all right. I feel like, if anything, they maybe uh, slightly de-emphasized his uh, tank-like torso. But that's pretty good. Who's next? Ronald McDonald, sure. Here we go. That's a very easy underhand toss pop culture guy you could just toss in here. It's a clown. It's just a clown. And Samoa Joe is not working for McDonald's. All right, we've almost got a full ring here. we got one more guy coming in here shortly. Penta about to get Trevor out of here. Nope, nope, he hung on. Giant Gonzalez, I think I just downloaded this because I was like, that's a really stupid guy to make for this game, but you make everyone, right? Hmm, okay, they got the bodysuit right, the shitty airbrush bodysuit. They got the haircut. I don't know about the face. It's pretty close, though. All right, so we got a full ring here again. I forget what number we're at. I think we're in the teens. Countered it just in time. Getting set for something in the corner. In the pantheon of wrestling costumes, it is distinctly possible that Giant Gonzalez has the worst one ever. Like, legitimately the worst ever. Uh, who is Giant Gonzalez? As Paradigm Dream. Oh, sweet summer child. Uh, Giant Gonzalez was a uh, seven foot four, legitimately, I think. Uh, I want to say Argentinian former basketball player that was brought in. Uh, it started wrestling in the early, late 80s, early 90s, and was brought into WWE as an opponent for The Undertaker. Uh, the problem was he couldn't fucking wrestle, he could barely move. Uh, so basically all he could do was kind of just lumber around the ring and then do this a lot and then grab dudes and choke them. That was kind of it. Kid Boo is out. Uh, and so that after that storyline dried up, uh, he did basically nothing. Uh, I think he had a brief run in WCW as all ex-WWE people did at that point and then he never wrestled again. Oh, we lost Penta. Damn. So right now, uh, Liger and Skeletor still holding it down here after many entrants. Can Skeletor go all the way? Can he do the Ric Flair and be there from the very beginning and not the other Ric Flair stuff, which we don't want to encourage? Every other aspect of Ric Flair's existence, we don't want to encourage that in people. But the surviving in the Royal Rumble part, that's okay. And he's been concentrated on that area. 
throughout this one. He knows every blow there weakens his opposition more each time. Oh, coming in hot. Definitely something to prove. Ah, uh, here comes Franklin from GTA 5. Mm. The outfit's right. I don't know if they got the face right. Doesn't feel quite right. Skeletor, you got to get back in the ring, man. All right, we got one more coming in here. Batman, of course, yes. Absolutely. Let's have a Batman. Good luck, have Batman. Hmm, let's see what kind of Batman we're working with here. Feels like a very action figure-y Batman costume, which, you know, fits. Are we looking like a bat fleck? I'm not sure this one had a maskless version, so I couldn't see what face they went with. Oh, Liger, Liger, holding on. Liger's still holding on. You know, look, there's a lot of stupid stuff happening here. I'm going to say Trevor taking it to Samoa Joe of all people kind of, it just defies belief. And there goes Ronald McDonald. Uh, I'm just, I don't think there's an amount of meth you can do that will make you strong enough to fight Samoa Joe. It's just not possible. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I did turn blood on. I didn't know if that was a toggle I needed to turn on. I can go look into that. Their blood in these games has never been that great. It was maybe the one thing the AEW game did get right is that the blood is just fucking everywhere when you turn it on. There. Didn't really love that game, unfortunately. I really wanted to. They had some ideas. Half of them were maybe good. Unfortunately, the other half were kind of important. people you are just never going to get out. Skeletor too strong. All right, number 23, who we got? Goku. Okay, so again, this is not a great Goku. This is just the best of the Gokus I could find. I mean, the hair's right, at least. They just straight up put the hair in the game, which, I mean, you have to at this point illegal to not put the Goku hair in a game where you have a creative wrestler. Yes, this is a little bit more live-action Goku, though. The hair is correct. Yes, R.A.P. Akira Toriyama. I am not a big Dragon Ball fan, but I have nothing against it, and I understand just the degree, the cultural legacy that Toriyama and his various works have, and it's hard to not think of this like losing a fucking George Lucas or something for my generation like just an incomparable figure this is why I, I even was a willing to put a not great Goku in here because there just needed to be a Goku oh Skeletor's out holy shit alright so Liger right now Liger is uh, the last last hope of the early round folk. Inflicting pain at will. I had that well scouted. Set up in the corner of the ring. He's got the answer for that one. Oh, there's a ramp camp. Interesting. Hang on, I'm gonna stop for a second here. Uh, apparently in the options there is a ramp cam. I wonder if I can turn that on from here. Camera cuts. Oh, ramp camera. There we go. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see how that goes. Well, I wonder if I have to set it to, to cut or something. Let's see what we get when, when someone comes in here. Oh, we lost Giant Gonzalez. That's a shame. And we lost Samoa Joe. Okay, that is a shame. See what happens here. 
see if it does the cat the cut or not. Kevin Von Erich. Okay, so this is just ramp cam all the time. Interesting. All right, let me just see. Uh, this is me experimenting here a little bit. I just want to see what else we've got. Ramp camera on. Camera cuts. Run in, breakout huds. All right, well, let's try this, see what happens. Okay, that's the stage cam. That's the broadcast cam. Trevor's out. Yeah, we can just stay on this cam for now. At least we can see people run into the ring. Batman's out. Trevor's out. Liger's out too. There's almost no, there's no one left from the early going. Here's Sabu. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I'm feeling this camera. It's like a little too static for my taste. Well, now I'm stuck here, apparently. Thought I changed it. Presentation options. Da, 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 da. Camera panning, camera cuts, ramp camera. Eh, we'll just stay here. Fuck it. Who cares? We're here for the action. And there's been a lot of action. We're down to three people. Goku, Sabu, and Kevin Von Erich. Fucking fantastic. There's a few more people coming in. Ah, Peter Griffin. Yeah, sure. Okay, now it's on free camera, I think. And I can switch it to stage. By Southwest. And da -da. Oh, yeah, there are some camera options here, aren't there? They didn't used to have these. Not mad at it. Kenny Omega. This could possibly change the complexion of this match, Michael. Wow, this is sort of irritating. The the swipping, like the handheld nature of that camera. Okay, that's a little better. This is interesting. I don't want any of this. I'd like to just go back to regular camera now. I think some interesting options there, though. Let's just turn that off. Oh man! Get ready! Ooh, cheap shot right above the eye. Well, I don't even know how to get back now, so we're just stuck here. Let's just enjoy it from this angle, I guess. Face first lethal combination. There he is. He looks focused on the task at hand. You can see the fire in his eyes from here. Captain America. Oh, this is not good at all. The oh, apparently I have the free camera option now, so I can just do this. Oh, yeah. You want some fucking Michael Bay? Here you go. And Kevin Von Erich sadly is out. Go watch The Iron Claw. It's a pretty good movie. I can now just decide whether I want the camera to be here or not. And here comes the Joker. I can now decide how I want this to be, and this is terrible. I should not have this power. This is an awful power to give the people. And there goes Kev Captain America. Sad Batman didn't make it to fight the Joker, but what are you going to do? That Peter Griffin, Jesus fucking Christ. Good lord. Ah, the Trash Man! Of It's Always Sunny fame. The most important character. Well 
See, how far can I zoom back? Pretty far. This is what it's like to watch the Royal Rumble from affordable seats. This is very silly. There needs to be like some like melodramatic music playing as you zoom further and for oh boy. Oh, I think we're about to start seeing some things they don't want you to see. Oh, this is an existential nightmare. Look at this. He's one step ahead there. This is a this is insane that they would let you do this. You ever wonder what it was like in the uh, the universe outside the WWE universe? What is this image? What is this background shit? This is really weird. This is really weird. Okay, I, I can't do this anymore. I have to zoom in. It's going to take a while because uh, we're pretty far back, but I'm going to zoom in. I don't want to miss the end of the match. Okay, I can do this faster now. Oh, somewhat faster. All right, we're zooming back. We're zooming back. Sort of. I think Goku's still in there. Thinking about a submission here, guys. Oh my god, look at this. They're setting him up. Okay, you can kind of see what's going on now. Trash Man's still there. Peter Griffin's still there. Joker, I think, is still there. And Kenny Omega is still there. Joker is out. Oh, look at this. You're down to our final four here. Okay. I've now released the free camera. Now I'm back to the free camera. Oh, I just hit the highlight reel button. Never mind. Get as close in here as we can. And who we lose? Oh, we lost the trash man. I'm sorry, trash man. I'm sorry, Goku. Sorry, guys. Goku has been eliminated. It is down to Peter Griffin and Kenny Omega. Exactly how we drew it up. Stiff kick. He's got him scouted. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. This is really silly, just being able to like dip in and out like this. Oh boy, that was too okay, so I can change the height. There we go. This is a little bit Oh, we're gonna do the WrestleMania point. Okay. Yeah, well, you know that Kenny Omega face ain't bad. As face maps go, that was all right. I mean, there's no Peter Griffin, but what is? Will Kenny Omega win this? Can he defeat the power of Peter Griffin? Sadly, there will be no Lois run-ins. I did not download a Lois. in this one. Terrible predicament for him to be in at this stage. Oh, hanging off for dear life. You bomb. I've done something very silly here with all of this. Uh. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Uh. 
Oh, Kenny. Is he going to hang on? These two are ready for each other. Up. One of these people is headed to WrestleMania. I mean, not really, but, you know, in my head cannon. Sorry, now that I'm the cameraman, I'm trying to keep everything positioned well. Yikes, that'll need to wake you up or knock you out. There he goes, right into the corner. Turning the tables. He right to the midsection. Setting them up for the Falcon Arrow. Yeah, that's a move Peter Griffin would do. He's definitely a Falcon Arrow guy, for sure. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Up. Oh, are we going to have an elimination? Uh -oh. Is he going to get him? He's going it. for it. He's going for it. You really get in here. You can really see all of Peter Griffin's ass. It's just all there for you to look at. Oh, wow. A taste of his own knee. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. And he's able to counter. Oh. This is tense. I mean, as tense as a match featuring Kenny Omega and Peter Griffin can possibly be. Here's the question. Is Peter Griffin a better wrestler than Yoshihiko? I say no, but... You know, maybe there's room for debate. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Check out this power. Way Apparently Peter Griffin knows how to do the razor's edge. Up. Oh. Nope. Counter. That's a reversal. Kenny will not go down without a fight. Set him up. Leg sweep. Thank you for taking this journey with me, by the way. I know this is a very silly way to spend an hour, but it's how I have my fun. He turns it around. Ooh. Power Brutal power slam. slam. Man. Perched up top. The winner of this will objectively be the best downloadable wrestler. Like, there's just no arguing. So, there's a lot at stake here. We could have an elimination here. Good timing with that reversal. Do something! Don't just let him sit there. Come on! Take it off from the ah, that good old wrestling video game AI, where it occasionally just forgets what it's doing. Maybe Kenny's just very tired. He has been fighting Peter Griffin here, who is we know is no slouch. Range down an elbow retaliation. He hasn't tried to one-winged angel him yet, though. Wow. Reversing that double underhook pile driver. Uh-oh. Into the corner. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Can he do it? Can he do it? No. Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin did not expect this from him. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. Wow. Peter Griffin is going to WrestleMania. Man. That feels right somehow, doesn't it? 
their ticket to the main event. A wrestle. Yep, looking great. That is a high res image that they definitely used for this face. It's fucking fantastic. Could not have asked for better. Oh. Well. Uh, for the second half of this stream, I think we are probably going to launch into a Bellatro run or two. But before I do that, does anyone want to see what's going on in the old uh, user image upload section? Because I'm going to warn you right now, there's always the chance for something horrifying in there uh, in various ways. But I feel like we should take a look, right? I've turned the menu music off because I don't want this to get uh, DMCA'd if at all possible. So, uh... Let's take a peek. What do you say? You never know what you're going to get in these. Oh, do they not? Oh, wait, there we go. Sign an image. There we go. Okay, they just changed the name of it. All right. Well, let's start with the most downloaded. Let's see what the most downloaded stuff is, and then we're just going to look at the old, uh, the, the full thing. Like, for instance, one of the most downloaded images is... This picture of Willem Dafoe from, I think, Antichrist? That's not at all what I was expecting as one of the most downloaded images in this game. That is very peculiar, but also kind of amazing? Kind of amazing. I don't know why you would do this, but I don't know why you would do most of the things you put people put into this game, so... Here, I'm going to move me a little bit uh, out of the, the frame here. You don't need to see me right now. You just need to see... Here, you can see a little of my face, like, up here. There, that way. That way you can see how I'm reacting to these many images, like this thing that says grab his dick and twist it. Oh, this is this is already everything I hoped it would be. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, there's your Vince McMahon uh, meme image, of course. I bet there will be a lot of those in here. Fatherless child detect... Yeah, Christian. Yeah, that makes sense. Someone just wrote, fuck your feelings, bitch. Great. Yes, this is exactly what I come here for. This is what I come here for. The most garbage that you can fucking upload here. Ugh. Punisher logo. That's just porn. That was just porn. One of the most downloaded images was just straight up porn, so sorry about that. That's... Man. That's probably going to get pulled down at some point. That was just porn. That was just porn. I should say, you can uh, just upload these things to PC as well, I think. So uh, that, um, not much you can do with that. That was just porn. They just straight up put a porn. It used to be that you could only get, maybe get like fet foot fetish porn through, but uh, that one, that one found its way through. Hey, you do what you can. You do what you can. Let's see here, the logo for the band Whitechapel? Sure, why not? What else do we have here? What, anything else going to be just horrific? Probably. Yes. There's the rock's face. I mean, the rock's already in the game. You kind of don't need it, but sure. That's just the guy. Check out that guy. Hey, guy. What up? It's a lot of... It's, the internet's a nightmare of a place, and... I guess one should expect this. Like, see, this is the kind of porn, like, like erotic imagery I would normally expect to be in here. Just a sexy lady for no reason. Like, sure, okay. The thing where you just straight up put porn in there, that's, I think you've maybe, I think maybe you've crossed a line. And there are very few lines when it comes to this stuff. Rhea, please peg me. Yeah, I mean, look, this is the mentality of... The average wrestling video game enjoyer, of which, unfortunately, I am. Um, it's uh, a lot of Michael Scott images uploaded by somebody here. Just a lot of office stuff. A lot of memes. So far, fairly predictable, apart from that one thing. Here's a picture of Kane at the gym for some reason. Sure. I'm going to go a couple pages deeper, and then I think we're going to duck out of here, because uh, I don't want to risk too much more uh, porn straight up showing up here. Those are some goth ladies, probably some band. Portrait of Gothic. Got it. Thank you. Thank you for giving me that description. 
Anything else of note here? I think we might be hitting the, the wall in terms of, I mean, look, there's 1,600 pages of this. I'm certainly not going to go through all of it. Okay, we have our first straight up psychopathic records, ICP related stuff, a bunch of twisted logos and faces. So yes, this is in fact a wrestling video game played by wrestler, wrestling video game fans. Uh, that's a guy. No description on that. Yeah, I think we may have hit the hit the wall on this. You know, I was really hoping there would not, in fact, be actual pornography in here. That is a little bit of a bummer, but what are you going to do? Just a nice Roxanne, sure. Yeah, okay. Irish pride. Uh... Yeah, Slim Jim fucking... Did it just say, I'll eat your ass? Is that what that said? Or is the... Uh, yeah, the server is not going to let us see if that is in fact what that, that sign said. Sometimes these pages can be a little hinky. Let's just go ahead and wrap that up right there before uh, things go worse. Because uh, I'm sure we will find some even more offensive stuff as we go deeper into this. But for now... I'm going to swap over here and recenter my camera. Hello. And while I set things up for the next game, I'm going to say, hey, how's it going? How's everyone doing? Hope you're all having as good a Monday as one can have on a Monday. Uh, we just recorded a ramble cast, uh, despite Vinny not being here. We had ourselves uh, Patrick Klepik on, coming and hanging out with us. So uh, that'll be up tomorrow. The Watchcast for The Crow is up now. Got that one done early because I knew I was going to have to do this today. Uh, and so that is up. We are recording The Phantom tomorrow, the 1996 The Phantom, uh, which will be... Uh, is is certainly a movie, is the way I will describe that. Uh, it's a real piece of work, and I learned a few things reading up on that movie like the fact that it was originally written to be a parody of superhero movies, and then they, the people who made it uh, didn't realize that and then just played the entire script straight. I mean, they rewrote some parts of it too, but there's some bits in there that definitely feel like they're from a Naked Gun-style movie and not the actual fucking movie that we got. Um, all right, I'm going to move over here uh, to this scene. Nope, that's the one. Why is it not showing the game? There it is. All right, there we go. We found the scene. And I'm going to turn the video game audio down a bit because I did that for the last game. And we're going to play a little Bellatro because I love this game more than I should. It has kind of been wrecking my free time in a way that is alarming, especially considering I have a new cat in the house and I should be spending more time with that cat. Uh, but... What if I play Bellatro instead? So let's let's start out with like ones that I like maybe just a regular deck because I've been doing uh, really well with this green deck. I've got it all the way up to blue difficulty, um, but the other ones I have not won with a single other deck so far. So if anyone has a preference for what de of the decks I've unlocked, they'd like to see me try. I have the Anaglyph the Painted deck, and the Zodiac deck, and the Abandoned deck of the uh, non-standard ones. Let's see what else we got here. If any, any preferences. Zodiac can be fun. Abandoned is fun. Black deck is brutal. Abandoned is just weird. Yeah, because that's the no-face cards deck, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to try one of these, like, special decks. Um, and I'm going to try... Hmm. Let's try the Zodiac deck. I don't think I've messed with this one yet. Let's uh, go on a run here, see how far we can get. And then maybe at the end I'll try the current hardest difficulty I have available for the green deck. I don't know why that one works so well for me. It's something about the money. Get a lot of money out of that one. This is really just an excuse to make you all hear the music as I have been hearing the music 
for so long now. Those cards aren't doing anything for me in this hand. Neither are those. Wow, this is already off to a great start. All right, I'm just going to play this pair of fours because I only have one discard left. It's like a discard. Okay, three of a kind. That's something to work with. I've never tried to talk while playing this game or, like, have thoughts. Usually it is just shut my goddamn brain off and let the music wash over me. All right, there we go. Straight. That should be enough to, I think, knock us over here. Uh, how many times have I accidentally discarded played a hand? A handful of times. I have definitely done it. The pro strat of skipping the first two hands. I don't skip lines. I don't do it. Um, because I want the bonuses. I know there are bonuses you can get for skipping them, but, uh, I don't, I don't do that. Maybe that's not the pro strat. Maybe if I want to start getting into some, some real broken numbers territory, I have to start doing that, but I haven't started doing that. I'm not there yet. Four X speed. Can you turn the game speed up? I mean, I guess probably, yeah, you should be able to do that. CRT is that a thing you can just do somewhere? Eh. Under game, game tab. Game. Game speed. Okay, you know what? I'll go to two. I don't know if I'm ready for four. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I got some things here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll make that a gold card. We need some gold. We need some chips. All right, next round. Oh yeah, that is a little faster. I'm not in a rush, you know? I'm just here to enjoy the beauty, the majesty that is Bellatro, the nightmare that is this fucking game. Like, people are not overstating how nightmarishly addicting this thing is. All right, there we go, yeah. One shot. Beautiful. Love it. And it is considerably faster this way. I buy planets. It's what I do. I know it's not the ultimate strategy, but it is one that I adhere to. None of these jokers are very exciting. I don't want any of these jokers. Like, I want jokers, but I don't want those jokers. It's never good when you go this deep into a run without any jokers. Like, that's not that's not a great sign of things to come. I'm gonna discard those three. And we have ourselves a flush. Look at that. Look at that. And then eh, we'll discard these clubs because they can't do anything for me on this one. But in a full house, that will be enough to make up for that one being de-emphasized. I think we're good here. Boom. Fun fact about me, uh, at least back in the day, I was a pretty regular poker player. Not like online or, uh, you know, in any serious gambling capacity. This is a good one to have to start with. Um, just playing with friends mostly. But my grandparents taught me because they were... Uh, and I mean this with love, degenerate gamblers. Uh, my grandfather loved fucking horse racing and my grandmother loved poker. And so they taught me, my parents were like, we're not, they're not gonna teach you horse racing. Like they're not gonna teach you how to gamble on the ponies, sorry. Uh, they can teach you poker, that's fine. And they did. And that was one of my few real bonding moments with uh, those grandparents was me learning how to play poker. All right, see a couple couple planet cards. Let's see what we got. Not the best. They'll work though. Every hand level is better than no hand level. All right, let's see what the next round looks like. But yeah, I used to play with a bunch of friends uh, who worked at a movie theater back in the day, and we would play in the back room of the movie theater uh, after hours. So it was like you know midnight, twelve thirty or something and play until like three or four in the morning. Uh, that was a good time. 
And over the years, I've also played with some of my uh, game industry friends. Bob Kaliko, formerly of GameSpot, uh, he used to host games on the regular. I mean, this game is not poker, it's just poker hands, but it's doing enough poker to where I kind of don't care. It's, it's, it's scratching that itch. All right. Two pair with aces, I feel like, is going to do something for me here. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. I did play a little online poker back in, like, kind of the, the heady days of when everyone was getting into poker, post-rounders and post-World Series of Poker getting kind of popular. Um, I didn't like it. Because I part of what I like about playing poker is looking at a person and trying to decide if they're bullshitting you or not. And uh, I, I don't get that with online poker. It's just not that fun. It is actually my dream at some point to one day go and play in the World Series of Poker and lose probably almost immediately because I'm not that good. I'm not that good of a poker player. I'm at most middling. Um, I have no illusions that I would somehow go deep into that tournament or anything, but I would love to do it. I just don't have a spare uh, $10,000 to burn on that. And I imagine most other people don't either. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's maybe we'll go for the high straight here. Yep, there it is. Ace and everything. Almost there. Yeah, this'll do it. This'll knock us over. If I it, wear a wrestling mask on World Series of Poker, if I went to World Series of Poker, you bet your fucking ass I am... I'm going to wear whatever mask is legally allowed, because I don't know if they let you cover your entire face. I'm, I, I don't know if that's considered cheating or not. That's a handy one to have around. Uh, you. You're a handsome devil. What's your name? Yeah, let's keep leveling up that flush. I feel like a tournament legal mask would have to be one where you can at least see the eyes and the mouth. Like a full face covering, I feel like probably just doesn't happen. You'd see a lot of guys with like hoods over their heads and the sunglasses and everything, you know, like that's kind of, I feel like the, the upper limit of what they will allow. All right, what do we got here? Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna go for the spades flush. Yeah, let's see if we can get it. No, but I got a two pair. That's fine. I'll start with that. That's a molt card. And you know what? I can turn these eights into molt cards as well. So why don't I do that? Maybe this will get me over. Yep. That did it. This game, it's just... There's just a beautiful simplicity to it. Someone in chat just mentioned this as a numbers going up game. Yeah, extremely. But like, it's a really good one of those. Like, I'm not too good to have numbers going up in front of me. Like, sometimes video games... Listen, we've come a long way in video games. You know, video games can be very emotional experiences. They can be experiences that actually speak to the soul. But sometimes video games are just jingling the right keys in front of you, and that's what this game is doing. It is jingling the right keys in front of me. It is doing enough poker-like things, poker-shaped keys in front of me, to get me into it. And that's what it's that's what it's doing. I mean, it's literally one music track. It's just this with variations on a theme, and there you go. That's all I need. All right, what do we got here? I'm going to lose those. Let's see what that does for me. Well, I'm almost at a straight. Now I'm at a straight. Perfect. Make sure we get that malt card in there. I gotta start leveling up straight. All right, we got a flush here. Fantastic. Save one of the hoes.
All right. Two more hands. Oh, this is a full house with aces, so I think we're good. I think we're good on this one. I gotta get some more jokers. I don't have enough jokers yet. This is what, what playing and trying to talk at the same time is. I'm not, like, scrutinizing the screen the way I normally would. I trigger all face cards. Yeah, that's not gonna do a lot for me right now. Probably not getting any straight flushes anytime soon. Yeah, I did get a couple of full houses, so let's level that one up. It's really wild. There are at least two or three games that have come out in these first couple of months of the year that I guarantee are going to be on my top ten list at the end of the year, which normally doesn't happen. Usually it's later in the year before I can imagine what that list might look like, and this and Helldivers are 100% on it. Like, not even a question. It would take something astronomically amazing to knock those off of a top ten list for me this year. All right, we got a straight. Yeah. Yeah. Sure we get that mole card in there. All right. Straight's just I gotta I gotta level them up. I gotta level up my straight, which I don't doesn't sound right when you say it like that. But here we are. All right, full house. That should be good. Okay, we're almost there. One more good hand should do it. I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's a flush. I think that'll do it. Yeah, yeah, mathematic. I think, I think that math bears out. Let's do it. Yep, okay, just barely. Yeah, we definitely need some more jokers here as soon as humanly possible. Fortunately, I'm not making as much money, which is not great. And I don't have enough for the obelisk. Man. Okay, there we go. That's something... I'm just gonna level these up, because why not? They're right here, and I have the money for it. But now we can level up uh, straights. Again, it just... Hmm. Doesn't sound right for some reason. I don't know why! All right, all diamond cards are debuffed. That does not really matter to me, so. Uh, what do we have here? We have a flush with a molt card, so that could get us pretty far, let's see. Yeah, that's a start, it's a good start. Couple of aces. I mean, oh, I'm so close to a fucking royal flush, ooh. All right, well, I am going to discard these because I definitely don't need those. You know, I'm not going to risk it because I want to make sure I don't uh, run out of discards too early. And two aces is going to help me here, so we're going to go with that. As fun as it is to strive for the royal flush, sometimes it's not the, the pertinent move. Uh, what is it? Uh, Jackson fours. Yeah, one of those is debuffed, though, so that's not going to do anything for me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take a gamble here. Yeah, all right, that's a flush. Let's see what that does for me. Might not have this one. Might not have it. Yeah, I need a big hand here, otherwise... Oh. Yeah, this isn't going to do it. I think I'm done with this run. Just bad joker run. Didn't like any of those jokers for the most part. Not the kind I'm comfortable with. That's all right though. So we tried that hand. Let's try another one. Hmm, painted deck. Minus one joker slot, ugh, I don't like that. After defeating a boss line, gain a double tag. I don't actually know what these do. I don't know what a double tag is. So let's find out. Let's try it out, see what happens. I know I can turn off screen shake, I don't care. I like the screen shake in this for some weird ass reason. Tag is the reward for skipping blinds. Okay, well what does it do for you? Does it double something on your score? 
It's double the reward of the next skip lines. Okay, got it. Interesting. So that's why you skip lines. All right. See, we're learning today. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those. And I didn't love what I got back here. Let's throw those away. Man. All right, well, we don't want to run out of discards, so let's just play this pair. It's the first hand. It's no big deal. Ugh. This is not a great starting hand. Yeah, I'm just going to have to take a risk here. I've almost got a straight. I'm going to keep these. Man, this is no bueno. It's not getting the luck here. All right, well, I need something big here. Otherwise, I'm done. Yeah, you know what? This one's done. Let's just, let's just try this again with the same hand or same deck. That one didn't work. Hey, sometimes the luck gets you, you know? That's that's poker. And that's Bellatro, which is not poker, but is like enough of poker. Yeah, so getting a two pair out of the gate is a little better. I'm gonna let those two go and see what that does. Oh, I had us flush. Damn it, I'm dumb. Well. Whatevs. Alright. Two pair again. That'll probably get me most of the way there. Yeah, seen a hundred. And I got two hands left. I think kings and tens might be enough. Yeah, we're good. I know there's room to play cards that uh, you're not using in a hand. I... Sometimes I, I make liberal use of that one where it's play cards in every, uh, the Joker that's like play every card in a hand. Mult if you get a pair. That's a good starting one. That's a very good starting one. Let's see what comes in the buffoon pack. Okay, this is also a great one because uh, when you get down to your wire here, this is a big boon to have. That and the one that also uh, plays... Uh, 15, like, 15 molt when you're out of discards and on the last hand. That's a that's also a good one. All right. Mm. All right, that's full house. That's something. That contains a pair, so we will get that boost. I appreciate that they are very generous about what consi is considered a pair. Is it two cards? Good. That's a pair. They're right. Good old High Priestess. What do you got for me? Ah, two of the two of my most used hands. So here we go. Beautiful. All right. I still got five bucks. Oh, yeah, this even rank one is a good one to have. These are all good starting jokers. All right, this is the one where you got to play all five cards. It doesn't have, they don't have to rank, but they all have to be played. So that's a good two pair. Yep, there it is. One shot. Boom. All right. Uh, I don't really need to spend the money on a straight flush thing. I'll buy one. I want this voucher, so I'm just going to buy one Celestial pack, and then I'm going to move on. You know, let's just get three of a kind up past level one. Not that I'm playing it a lot, but it's, sometimes it's good to just have those in an okay spot in case they come up. All right, what do we got here? Uh say no to those. Yeah, there we go. Two pair. A couple of even cards, so this will trigger. There it is. Alright, so far we are off to the races. 
Oh, right, I forgot. Interest actually accrues on this one because uh, it's not that other hand that I was using, so I should... Uh... Ooh, I can double my money. Nice. Give me that voucher. Everything's cheap! Eh, let's grab at least one Arcana pack. I like to spend my money. Oh, I hate these. See, I, know, I haven't really gotten to a point where I'm comfortable with the increasing rank. Because I know that's what you do when you're, like, focusing on trying to get, like, all face cards or specific straight cards and whatnot. But, like, eh, I just don't like doing it. And without, like, one of the bonuses for a suit, I just, I don't need any of these. I'm just gonna let them go. Don't forget to check the tags now, now before, uh, so how do I check the tags? Oh, coupon tag. Initial cards and booster packs and next shop are free. Interesting. So I have to skip... So basically I have to skip the blind, is what you're saying. So if I skip now, the next two shops will have free cards. Alright, yeah, let's do it. Love it. We're doing it. That is the first time I have ever skipped one of these. All right, well, we have a full house here. And with three evens, which will trigger this, and a pair, which will trigger this. So yeah, I think we're good on this one. Let's just play it. They just gave it to me right out of the gate. And it's also the last hand, so I'm getting this. Yeah, no, I've got this one. I extremely have this one. Look at all these tags. Beautiful. This is all free. Well, I'm just gonna have this for now. I may not keep this one, but I'll keep it for now. And this one, yeah, sure, they're free. Why not? Why not? Why not? If it's free, why not? Mmm. What do we have here? I like a malt ace that also has dollars on it. That's good. Retriggering. Oh, uh, you know what? I want a blue seal card, so let's throw that in there. What's, what kind of arcana do we have here? Bonus cards. Lucky card. Yeah, let's do the bonus cards. Yeah, bonus chips. Always good. And, oh, I got another one. What was the last one I used? Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Well, now I can just do that again next time I'm in the hand. Beautiful. I suppose I could re-roll, but eh, let's save the money. I want the interest. Uh, let's see. I don't think any of those are doing much for me here. Jackson, yeah, okay, we have a straight. Much as it pains me to use my blue seal card, gotta do it. That's pretty good. It's a good start. And I can make a couple more bonus cards here if I want. Uh, I don't really like any of these. So I'm just going to say goodbye to those. All right, yeah, this is a hand. This will work. And that's a win. All right. Even better. Okay, everything's still zero dollars. Love it. I don't think I want either of these. Nah, I'm good. These I do want to open. Get full house come up. Come up. Let's get full house up to level two at least. Foil, two of spades, sure. All right, let's see the next round. Is, what does this get? Rerolls and next up started zero. Yeah, all right, let's just keep doing that. Rerolls and next year and it started zero. Got it. No repeat hand types. Okay. Easy enough. All right, well, this will be our two pair. 
It's not the best two pair, but it's two pair. Still got me a thousand chips, so that's all right. Uh, we are very close to a straight. Yep, there it is. You know what? I'm going to keep this. Let's just... There we go. All right. All right, so we can't do two pair. Hmm. What should I get rid of? Could go for a flush. Yeah, but... I don't, mm. All right. I don't think I'm going to keep either of these. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take a little gamble here. Since I can't use two pair, and I can't do a straight. Yeah, that didn't work out. But I can do a pair. Don't get me a little molt, at least. This isn't going to be much of anything. Yeah, all right. This may not be good. Oh, here we go. All right. Maybe. Probably not. I don't know if this is enough, because these are, these are odd-numbered cards, so I'm not going to get the bonus. Yeah, this may not work out. But it is the oh right, we have this retrigger thing. I forgot about this. Nope, didn't get it. Alright. We tried. Alright. Let's go to the before we wrap up here, let's go to the old green deck and let's show off the current highest difficulty that I can do, which is the blue chip difficulty. Uh, I've not had much luck on this one yet. I had a couple of good runs in the difficulties beforehand, uh, like, kind of kind of shocking how good they were. Uh, so far, I've not gotten very far in this one. What's the... the rerolls, the boss plan? Eh, I don't really care about that right now. Because the thing about skipping hands is that, again, you lose out on the opportunity to get the, um, the bonus, which is kind of what I like, like, like opening more cards, more planets, that kind of stuff. So that's kind of why I don't do it, but I'm sure there are plenty of good reasons why you would want to. But yeah, the green deck is the only one I've managed to beat any difficulties on so far. Like, I, and I've done it with multiple. Alright. Good start. Don't need that. So this introduces Eternal Jokers, which when you add them, uh, you can't get rid of them. You can't sell them. So you have to really want that Joker. I don't really want this Joker that badly. Uh, so we're going to skip that. Steel card. Yeah, all right, sure. I like to do steel and um, uh, gold to the lowest cards because those are the ones I'm least likely to use. So if they just sit in my, in my hand, that's fine. All right, let's move on. Ah, uh, it's just a straight right here. We got a straight right in front of us. Let's do it. Dit hit. I forgot to turn off my PS5, and so WWE is still on, and it's just Shinsuke Nakamura just staring me down. I mean, there's worse people to have staring down, but still. Not much here. Not loving these so far. Kind of need a four. Gave me two. All right. All right. And we're on. What do we have here? This is an okay one if you want to roll with a lot of tarot cards. It's actually kind of worth having early on because sometimes just having those is nice. Even if you don't use them, you can just sell them. Uh, I'm going to do another buffoon pack, too. Yeah, see, like, right there. Now I have this one. I'm not going to use it, but I can sell it. That gives me an extra dollar. I gotta. This is not a bad one to have. You know, you're only going to use it once, but if you want to really just say, fuck that boss, uh, you can do that. Also, it's a little masked lucha guy, so of course I like it. I'm easy. Put a guy in a wrestling mask. I'm like, that guy's pretty cool. A cheap date that way. 
Uh, let's see here. All right. Now we're almost to a flush. Man. They don't want to give me this flush. And I'm out of discards. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to play this two pair, these debuff cards. Because you only have two discards in when you're up at this difficulty, so that's no fun. Ugh. This is a rotten deal so far. I'm just going to play what I got. I mean, yes, I know I could probably be burning some of these other cards I know I'm not going to use, but I don't know what I have in front of me yet. Yeah, let's just burn these, because I'm not foreseeing much with this. I need something good now. And I didn't get it. This is rough. This is it's it is rough playing with only two discards. All right, let's try that one again. That didn't get, get very far, and I got a little more time left, so let's see if we can do better this time. All right, five one three two. I don't have a straight yet. But we're close. Yep, there it is. Nice. This isn't a bad one to have. You know, you're gonna have face cards that you don't use sometimes. Getting that extra money is always good. Let's do that. So they become gold when you play them, and then later on they stay gold. They say nothing gold can stay, but these face cards absolutely can. That's three of a kind. All right. These aren't doing much for me. There we go. Pair of aces. No jack. Yeah, it didn't do anything for me. All right, let's just play what I want to play. I have enough to get a hundred. Yeah, I think this will be enough. That's a hundred chips. Super Antonio, stay gold, poker boy. Boo, but also pretty good. Pretty good. This is a weird one, and I don't think I want this as an infinite joker or an eternal joker because it just isn't one I use that much. This is a fun one if you want to get a bunch of eights, but I don't know if I have the time to invest in that right now. I'm just going to go for a celestial pack on this one. Yep, let's just level up a pair because in a pinch, that can come in handy. Spades are debuffed. I'm going to keep that debuff for just in case I want to roll a straight here. Yeah, I do. Oh, and I don't even need it. Because I've got this other one. Beautiful. Love it when a hand comes together. I have not messed with the vampire joker at all. Because uh, that one seems scary and weird to me. Uh... But I bet that th you could probably do some real work with that thing uh, under the right circumstances. Ugh. Just not much here. And I'm out of discard, so... Well, let's just uh, play something that isn't going to be in my... Uh... Jesus. Some rotten luck today. I gotta say, this this is worse than usual. Like I know I could be playing other cards. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, I'm done on this run. Didn't get anything. All right, we're playing for realsies now. I would like to at least get a couple of hands deep on this one before we wrap, or a couple of antes deep.
Can we get a five? No, but we can get three aces and two twos, so that's that should be good. Love that little fire effect. Everything about the like the stuff around the edges of this game, the screen shake, the muse, the like music, the little fire that crops up when you uh, are about to one shot something, uh, devious, hypnotic in a way that feels illegal, but it isn't. Unless you're trying to put this game on Switch, in which case I guess it is for right now, but... Man. It needs more music. I disagree. When you nail it in one song, what more could you- what could be gained by having different music, honestly? Uh, we almost got a flush. Let's see if we can get it. Yep, that's it. We got an ace in there, which will help. You know what the nice thing is? You can just turn down the music and play your own Bellatro music if you want. There's a wealth of music out there. It's very easy. But you know what? I like listening to the Bellatro music when I'm playing Bellatro because it sets a mood. Ooh, 12 molt of hand play. You know what? This is a good... I normally don't go out on a limb with those, but that feels like something that would be good to have. Also, having the Celestial... If I start focusing on straights... Yeah, maybe that'll be good. Let's see. Let's see what happens. See, we have a lot here that almost is a, a straight, but not an actual straight. Let's discard... those. Now... That didn't do a lot for me. I need a jack. I don't know if I want to burn my last uh, one of those, so I'm just gonna... I remembered that time. Oh, well, it is a flush. It's not gonna do anything for me, though, because I'm not gonna get any chips out of it. So I'm just gonna have to... I think uh, I'm just gonna discard all those diamonds and see what I get. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7. Oh, that's a straight. Beautiful. And I'm gonna get that super malt from it, so that's probably gonna be pretty good. Yeah, there it is. Eh, I don't want an eternal version of that Joker. I'm probably not gonna hit many four of a kinds during this, but you never know. You never know. You never know. So we got here. One fourth chance on that. I don't like class cards if I can avoid it. You know what? Let's just spin the wheel. I. Look at that. Holographic. Holographic. That's what we come up here for. All right. Got a three of a kind here. Burn that. Because we're going to get this 10 molt no matter what now. There it is. Alright, so that's going to give me a little juice to work with. Yeah, I don't think I need to spend the money on that. All cards held in hand. See, I don't like that one. It's too specific. That's one I will grab if I'm already trending in that direction. Uh, but otherwise, I don't mess with it. Hmm. Let's see, it's fine. Do I want five dollars that bad? No, I think I'd rather have the. Uh, I'd rather have the whatever comes out of the store after this. Yeah, I know it's about the cards you don't play. I just, I, I don't like it. All right, it's two pair. I gotta level up two pair here as soon as I can. Having that 10 molt, it's clutch. Making this uh, these low level hands pretty manageable. Damn, we're almost at like a Almost at a flush, for sure. 
could probably just, yeah, you can just throw another two pair in here and be done. But I was looking at it. I was thinking about it. Yeah, see, I would have gotten $5 if I had skipped it, but now I have $7. Yeah, I don't like that Joker very much. I'm just gonna buy this and wait until I have more Jokers to sell it. There we go. Get that up. Get that two pair up. Alright, so this is the spade card debuff. That's fine. This is a full house right out of the gate. Yep, that did it. That's the stuff. Oh, look at all that money. Look at all that money! Hmm. So these are both Eternals. So you gotta really pot commit if you're gonna do that. I do think retrigger all face cards is one that I could probably do something with. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. That's That one I'm okay with being Eternal. here. Eh, let's just get the pair up in case I'm in a bad situation. How many, uh, it's $8. That's still not enough. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Uh, that's flush right out of the gate. You'll love to see it. Flush with an ace, even. And a re-triggered face card. Not enough to, to knock it over, but pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I think I need those. I definitely did not need those. And we're gonna get that extra malt from the straight. There we go. Boom. Boom! Yeah, not a lot to work with there. Yeah, let's get full house up a little bit. I'm sure, like, maxing certain ones instead of focusing on making the lower other hands, you know, more manageable is n a better strategy, but it's not my strategy. And as the uh, reigning king of Bellatro, listen to what I have to say. That is a flush. Optimal? Not exactly, but it's fine. Eh, well, I don't need more discards, so we're gonna have to hope. We're gonna get rid of what we don't want. So I need 1,100 chips. Uh, this is, uh... Hmm. So, no face cards in that. This will re-trigger with a Molt, which is good. Hmm. Because the Flush is also pretty low. Yeah, I know there's a Flush. The problem is the Flush is also level 1. And that will give me one face card retrigger, but no Molt bonus, other than this one. No, because it's not a straight. I think this might actually be my best bet. Let me see, like, flush is 35 times four, plus whatever these are. I think getting this Molt with the retrigger might be the thing that, that knocks me over. So I'm just gonna try it. Cross your fingers for me, if I've done my math correctly. I probably haven't. I did! King of Bellatro. Uh, 
Uh, well, I do play a lot of two pairs. This is a pretty handy one to have if you like that sort of thing. If you're that kind of sicko. I don't want some more cards for my deck, though, so I'm going to do that instead, since it's a nice round number and it fits. Uh, let's see here. Foil, uh, lucky, nine of spades. Ten. Yeah, you know, extra money is always good. Let's just do that. I'm going to allow these messages in chat where people are calling me a card pervert or something. I'm fine with that. I can live with that. All right, cards previously played are debuffed. Maybe my least favorite of the bosses, besides the one that takes your hand levels down. Ugh. All right, well, let's see what we got in front of us here. Do I have a flush? I do have a flush. It's just a lot of cards that are not uh, buffed is the problem. But, you know, maybe just as an opener here, I can just eat a couple of these, especially considering I'm getting uh, the ace boost. Yeah, that's something. Truly the worst boss. Like, the, the one that takes away the hand levels is truly the worst. I think they fixed it because that thing used to knock it all the way down to level zero, and it doesn't seem to do that anymore. Um, you know, I just don't want to play these. But I do need a seven in case I get a straight. So I'm going to drop that. I have both my discards, so I'm going to take a gamble on this one and just discard a couple. Yeah, alright, that did it. It's not perfect, but it's enough. I'll get the super bonus on that from the straight. Uh, you know, I might just have to throw some of these away. Don't feel like these are doing much for me. Okay, this is... Yeah, this is a straight that I can actually play that does not have any debuff cards. That's good. You know, I wish I had an ace in it, but what can you do? Alright, so one more hand like that, and I don't have that hand. Fuck. I was really hoping something a little more uh, good would come along, but... You take the cards you dealt, folks. Yeah, we're done, though. Uh, all right, one more time. One more time. We still have like 15 minutes left before I gotta go uh, make dinner and stuff. So let's go one more time. This is this is the loop, man. This is what happens to me. Okay, this is what my life is now. What if I play one more time? You know, I just play one more time. It's, why not? You know, hey. Because sometimes you get a straight flush on your first hand. Do I play on my Steam Deck? Not yet. That is the, the one line I've not been willing to cross yet so far. Uh, on account of I know what that's get, what's going to happen. And see, now I get another discard. That is one of the things that's been screwing me. And now I have another discard. So that's good. That's good to have. I'm back to normal amount of discards. I'm sure it's great on Steam Deck, and as soon as I have to travel, I'm sure I will po uh, pop it on there. I'm just, I don't want to do that on my couch, because that is, uh... Look, I have a new pet in the house. I need to be able to spend some time and attention on the new pet. I can't, I can't just be playing this all the time. Alright. Oh, that's just straight. Uh, Zeke, our new cat, has uh, started merging. Like, I think today was the first day we would just let him out, like, almost the whole day. Uh, he has mostly been hanging out on the second floor of the house, but uh, he's starting to get a little braver. Uh, we were worried. We weren't sure how Tangy was going to, uh, to respond. So far, she has just kind of been chasing him around. No, uh, no serious cat strife as of yet. And I think part of that is that, uh, she's been smelling him, hearing him, and occasionally seeing him through the door in our second bedroom, which is where we've had him. 
uh, and it's just like been waiting for us to be like, okay, can you just let him out so we can I can sniff this guy and figure out what his deal is? So far, the deal has been pretty good. All right. Two pair. I got a flush. Surely I can get one heart card. No, apparently, is the answer to that. But I can get a straight, so that'll that'll do. That is an acceptable outcome. Ooh, we're almost at a strength there. I mean, that's three of a kind. That's something. Yeah. All right, so I just need 104 chips. I still have one discard left. To go for the flush. Eh, you know, I think I might be okay. 30, 40, 45, 50 times two is a hunt. No, it's not. That's not enough. This is why you count, folks. This is why you, this is why you do this. Because you need to know. All right, yeah, a flush is gonna do it. That's gonna do it. It's gonna more than do it. Math is my least favorite thing in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. I hate it. I don't like numbers. Uh, I like to watch numbers go up, but I don't like doing math. But this game has me doing enough uh, off the napkin math. Oh, I like this one, because I'm I'm one of those chuckleheads that just plays the same hand all the goddamn time, so that's a good one to have. Alright, not a lot to work with here. Yeah, alright. Two pair? Sure, why not? Full house. That's pretty good. See, when you keep playing the two pairs, this thing goes up. The numbers go up. That's what we're here for, to watch the numbers go up. And there we go. Yeah, we definitely need more planets for sure. Okay, this is a good one. I don't have enough money for it, though. I could sell this devil card. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because this is a good. This just gives you an extra four bucks every round, and I like that. This shit. Well, I wasn't gonna be able to sell enough to get this one, so it doesn't matter. But this is maybe one of my favorite fucking cards. Uh, the one that lets you do straights with gaps. That and the one that blends uh, all the spades and clubs and all the diamonds and hearts together as flushes. If you manage to rock both of those, you are on easy street, my friend. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna keep these face cards, see if something comes for them. Yeah, there we go, there's another full house. Look at that, look at that! An all faces full house. That's one of the best full houses you can get. You can take that to the bank. The money bank. Where they put the money. All right, I need 400. I still got two discards, so I can kind of futz around here a little bit. I think a flush is probably enough to get me there. Uh, 35, 45, 55, 61, 64, 66 times four. I'm actually pulling up the fucking calculator. What did I say? 35, 45, 55, 61, 66. Plus, I don't know how many times I've done flush. Let's just assume it's one. Is that enough? I don't know if that's enough. 
Not sure that's gonna do it. Run info, thank you. How many times have I played flush? Only once, so I'd only get a 2x off that. Hmm. I do have more discards, so I don't have to run this. So that'll be... 6 malt. 396. I don't think 396 is enough. I think I need more than that. Question is, what do I want to go for? Oh, it is enough. All right. I'll take your word for it, Internet. Again, math, not my thing. You're right. Okay, yes, there was a little bit of spill over there. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Thank you, someone who is better at math than me. Hmm. I don't really care about the extra card slot right now. I think I'd rather spend my money on other stuff. For instance, more planets. Now, none of these are the kinds of hands I'd like to be using. Yeah, I'll just take this ace one, because it's just like a good meat and potatoes card in case you, uh, you have some aces around. Except now, uh, what is this? The all clubs? Okay. That's not so bad. I'm gonna go for a flush. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's get start. Yeah, there we go. Quarter of the way there. Yeah, now we got another one with an ace, so that's good. We're leveling this card up, we're making flushes more viable with each hand. Now we're three quarters of the way there. Money. I played so many two pairs at this point. This probably does something for me. Yeah, we're almost there. Literally, this pair of tens is totally fine. This will this will do the job. Will it? Will it? Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna discard. Do one round of discards here, just because I haven't really done much. See if I can get something better. Everyone's saying this will do it, so I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, this will do it. If you're wrong, the internet is wrong, well, what are you going to do? Yep, that did it. Beautiful. I can't throw the other cards in there for free points right now, because I don't have the one that makes all the cards count no matter what. The Joker. There we go, clearance sale. Love it. Give me the cheap stuff. Yeah, give me a random Joker. What do we got? One free reroll. Love it. I mean, I can't buy anything right now, but shit, that's the one that counts every card in scoring. God damn it. Well, I wouldn't have gone for that reroll anyway if I didn't have that, so I wouldn't have known. Wow. See, that's why I'm not a good poker player. I see four aces and I'm like, wow. That's not that's not good play. That's not how you want to generally play poker. You usually want to try and be a little quieter about that. That's why I need the mask on. That's how I keep people from knowing my true intentions. Okay, I love this card. The one in four chance to upgrade a poker hand. I also like this one a lot, the two pair one. I do play two pair a lot. What do you think, folks? Which one? I mean, I guess I could, you know what? I get them both, because I don't actually care about that Joker very much. So I'm just gonna buy them both. That's That's the kind of baller I am. I'm going to grab one of these Arcana packs while I'm here. I know it's Arcana, but I like saying it like it's Tex Arcana. Yes, I know to rearrange uh, based on, you know, what have you. I'm not sure any of these orders matter that much. Ooh, almost got a straight flush here. You know, just for funsies. Nah, didn't get there. Oh, well. I'm just going to go for this three of a kind. Start things off.
I don't have any multipliers as a thing. So if there was a multiplier, I would definitely be putting it on the right side, but I don't have any. It's just the add right now. Adding mult. Like in this flush. All right, we need something a little more, uh, a little more of a banger hand here. Yeah, this is not a great hand. This has not been a great deal so far. Okay, well, this is a much better flush for my purposes. Well, this is all I got. This is the best I got. It wasn't enough. Yep. And that is Bellatro, my friends. That is the nature of the beast. Sometimes it's going real well for you, and then it's just like... Not so well. It's okay, though. Still having a good time. I think I'm going to wrap it here, though. I need to go uh, make dinner and play with my cat. I'm sure you all understand. Uh, this has been a dry run for me of doing a solo stream. This is not necessarily going to be like my time slot or anything. I think Vinny and I are still going to be keeping this as a cyberpunk. Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk? What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, time slot go until we're done with that game. I am going to try to find a spot somewhere in the week for me to do solo streams every week. I'm just not there yet. But, this dry run was pretty good. I got my uh, my legs under me after a certain amount of time. It's weird, streaming solo. You know, it's a little odd. I'm actually going to move back to the camera here. Hi. Hopefully the uh, delay isn't too horrible. But, yeah. We'll find a slot. We'll do some other stuff. Like, you know, I'll do a thing where I play some random games. I'll probably go back to some truck streaming here and there. The Rock Band stuff is a little more involved, both involving copyright and also my setup. Um, so we'll see. Also with the truck streaming, can't really do random radio anymore because of all the DMCA stuff. But I'll find, I'm still looking for solutions. We'll see what happens. Um, but those are like probably some more regular things that I will do. I'll probably play some more Bellatro too, because that's, I just like this game a fair amount. Uh, and yeah, that's how we're going to wrap it for today. Folks. I don't have a fade-out button because I forgot to set one up. So this is going to start stop rather abruptly. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. We've got plenty of stuff going up on the site this week, as we said. Watchcast for the Crow, already up now. Ramblecast tomorrow with Patrick Klepek. We'll have our podcast. We'll have other streams. All that crap. Go watch The Phantom if you want to be uh, ahead of next week's Watchcast. Slam evil. Bye! And now I'm going to press the button. Bye.